Welcome to the Blue Collar Coder Introduction to React, Episode 8. I'm Jack Harrington, at Jahur on Twitter. Wow, we've learned a lot. So we don't, generally speaking, start from brass tacks when it comes to, you know, building out the, the, the look and feel of a page. Most of the time, we're going to use a component library. So that's what we're going to do in this video. We're going to use the Material UI component library and give ourselves a nice look and feel right out of the box. So without further ado, let's jump into the code. There are a bunch of different component libraries for React. This one we're looking at right now is Material UI. It's very popular. There's also shards. One just came out recently from Adobe called Spectrum. And that is just a very small sampling. For this, we're going to use Material UI. So here are the installation instructions. We just need to install Material UI Core. I'm going to copy that. And then I'm personally going to use Yarn Add and Material UI Core. Now I'll start the server again. Now the next thing on here was to go and add this style sheet reference. So I'll copy that. And then paste that into the index.html in public. And it goes in the index.html because that's the container template HTML. Now there's a whole bunch of components. There's components that cover everything, but for this, we're just going to try out button. So I'm going to copy the import line here. And then paste it into our code. And then I'm going to change the lowercase b button that we had for select and turn it into that uppercase b button. Use that component. And now we can see that we've got a standard material button, which in this case has no boundary. So let's go take a look at some of the options on that. But it still works just like everything else. So we'll go bring up the documentation for components and button in particular. And that primary one looks pretty cool. So let's give that a try. So we'll copy the variant and the color out and paste those into our code. And that looks really nice. But it's not quite right. In Material UI, there is a baseline CSS. So let's go over to our index.js file and then import from Material UI core. So I'm just going to use the same import as we had before, but then change out the button for CSS baseline. And then I can put that into the reactdom.render, which wraps our app, our React app. And now you can see that the fonts have changed a little bit and it's a little bit tighter and cleaner. You got to say that looks nice right out of the box, right? The button, just, just it's just pretty. And they've got really good stuff in there for layout and all kinds of stuff. So Material UI, it's a really good library. I've used it in a lot of my videos. I've also used the Shards library. I'll be probably doing something with Spectrum coming up pretty soon. So there's just a lot of great stuff out there. It's a great time to work in open source and use these awesome utilities. If you have any questions about this video, be sure to put those in the comment section down below. You'll find a link to the Blue Collar Coder newsletter in the description. And if you sign up for that, you'll get access to these videos a day earlier than everyone else. And you'll get JavaScript tips and tricks and links to cool articles. It's definitely worth the price, which happens to be absolutely free. Of course, in the meantime, be sure to like and share the video and also subscribe if you feel so inclined and ring that bell. And in the meantime, be happy, be healthy, and be safe.